Hey guys, so now let's work on the outline of your paper. Um, first task is to go back to your introduction, so make sure you finish the introduction before you start this task. Um, go back to that introduction, and then uh, based on your thesis, what's your counterclaim and what are your three claims? So it's basically just pulling the counterclaim and then the three claims. So if you have a thesis, you're good. Um, next, fill in the chart below by organizing what points you want to address for the counterclaim and the three claims. So what I mean by this is um, what's the stuff you want to talk about in each part of your paper. So for example, body paragraph one, two, three, four, I didn't tell you which had to be a counterclaim. I didn't tell you which had to be a claim. This is the moment where you need to decide What's the order I want to put that stuff in? Do I want to do the counterclaim first, like we did in government? Or do I want to do it last? I don't know. And this is also a moment where you will start to think, oh, maybe I want to be a little more sophisticated and have some of my counterclaim kind of going in and out of different parts of the paper. Um, there's no requirement in terms of how you're supposed to structure this, but you should be looking at at least four body paragraphs just to distinguish it from a regular essay, right? Because if you're only writing three body paragraphs, then this is just a five paragraph essay. This is not a research paper. So if anything, you should have five, six, seven body paragraphs, but we're not going to get too crazy yet. We're just going to start with the basics. Um, so my point is whichever... Maybe you want to do the counterclaim here, then maybe you want to do that first claim, and your claim should be in order, remember, from weakest to strongest, right? This is just for you to think about where they're going to go and what order. And then in these bullet points, you're just going to make a list of the stuff you want to talk about in each one, kind of just based off the top of your head. And so in the introduction, we're going to talk about the background on the topic, and I'm going to make sure that thesis goes in there. In the conclusion, I'm going to restate my claims, maybe I'll do a summary, and then uh, I remembered from the TED Talks that it's effective to have a call for action at the end. This is an argument all about whether or not something should change, right? So it might be a good moment to say, like, well, this can be done, right? So what that looks like is if you go and click on the exemplar, um, Ms. Shelby has filled out an example, not just of the third step, but of all the steps, so you can see how she kind of filled in her bullet points with just some ideas, what she's going to use. She's sort of organized it a little bit, so that way she knows what she wants to talk about. Okay, so it's like a list, just all the stuff you want to talk about. Um, it doesn't have to be like concrete or perfect, but it should be cohesive and coherent, right? Now, it is our best friend in the world, the traditional outline. Yay, they're back. Um, if you made a good list, it should be pretty easy to do this. Just remember, a traditional outline organizes with letters and Roman numerals and sometimes numbers and lowercase letters. Again, this is just a way of showing how all the ideas are connected, um, putting ideas in the order that you want to put them in, putting ideas into groups similar groups, okay? Um, you have to think very carefully about how you want to organize. And again, if you need that exemplar, you just click it and you can scroll down to the third part of this tiered task and you can see Miss Shelby's. Um, notice she added some numbers. The computer will do it for you automatically. She's got some notes. She even put in where she's going to put some of her sources because she's starting to think about what evidence she wants to put in different parts. She has a little bit of evidence here, the point she wants to make. Um, some points have three, some only have two. Um, this is the moment where you kind of got to decide, well, how much do I need in order to know what I need to do when I'm actually writing? Um, so that's the traditional outline. Think about when we wrote them for our TED Talks, okay? So this should be sort of familiar. 
Um, next, you can briefly explain why you chose to organize the paper like this. Like, I'm talking about this point before I talk about this point because you need to know this before I do this or whatever it is. Next, the self check, then the challenge, um, some culturally relevant coronavirus ideas here, and then the reflection. So basically you're just doing an outline and starting to plan what you're going to do for each of those body paragraphs in your counterclaim. Okay? Let me know if you have questions. Bye.